Hey, what's up? Welcome back to Card Minnows. If you're new here, my name is Leon, and today I'm doing a deep dive into how I use Notion to manage my Axie scholarships. There were a handful of comments in my top five Axie tools video about my Notion setup and templates. So I decided to dedicate an entire video to this topic. If you wanna grab the templates that I created and follow along, please check the video description. I shared links to all three tables that I'm showcasing and use on a regular basis to run my Axie Infinity Scholarship program. To bring the templates into your own Notion account, simply copy and paste the link into your web browser. Once it loads, it should look like this. And then what you wanna do is go to the upper right and click on the duplicate button. This new page would open up and asking you where to duplicate it. Choose your Notion account and I'll import the database into your account for your use. So we just imported the Axie inventory database and I'm gonna do the same thing with the Scholar and the Axie accounts. All right, so now we have all three of our databases imported. Next, we have to add relations in between these tables. This is what really makes Notion stand out against other note-taking and spreadsheet apps. I didn't include the relations in the templates because the relation links back to the original templates and not your duplicated copy. So you would have to do this anyway and delete the previous relationship. So we're gonna start with the Axie inventory table and to add a relationship, you click on the plus and then in the property type, hover over that and go into advanced relation. And the database we wanna link to is the Axie account scholarship. So I'll click that, click on create relation to make that relation. And we're gonna change the name of this from column to account using Axie. Okay, that's all the relationships we have to create for this database. We just wanted to link the inventory to the account. Next, we wanna go into scholars and we wanna create a relationship between scholars and Axie accounts. And so once again, we'll click the plus sign on the right side. We'll go into the type and we wanna set it to a relation and we wanna relate it back to the Axie accounts database. Once again, create relation to set up that relationship. And we're gonna label this one accounts. Finally, we wanna go back into our Axie account where you'll see that the two relations have shown up. One for relating this Axie account database to the Axie inventory database and the other one relating to the scholars. And because this is a really long title, we just wanna shorten this, change the first one to axes and change the second one to just scholars. So now that all the relations are set up, we're gonna go into each database and I'll show you how I use it and what is the information in there and how it's laid out. So we'll start with Axie inventory. So this database keeps track of all the axes that have traveled through your account. This includes axes that you bought, sold currently in your account and ones that you have loaned out to your scholars. So there are two ways to enter information in a table in Notion. The first way is like you would do in Excel and other spreadsheets and you just fill everything in its rightful cell. The other way is to hover over the first column, the name, and you can open it as a page and enter information through this. I'm gonna enter my first axis using the page format and I'm gonna use this bird axis that's in my lab account. So the name of this bird is BDK1. So that's what I'm gonna put in the name, BDK1. So next we'll need the number of the axis and there's two ways to find this if it's not in the name itself. One, it's right above the name. You have the number here. And the second place is right in the URL. The last piece of information that I think is mandatory would be the type. And here we know it's a bird, so we click the bird type. The rest of these are optional, but they're nice to fill out because later on you can come back and sort and filter through these different properties. And that would be pureness, buy price, sell price, the breed count, the count using Axie will come back to. And then the last one is a picture. Okay, so let's go back to our Axie to see which information we can fill out. So we know this bird is a breed count zero, has not been bred. And I got this from breeding two different axes. So it, there's no buy price or sell price because I bred this one. So we'll come back in here and we'll go breed count zero and we'll leave the other ones empty. So I have a trick for getting the picture of the axis in your Notion database. And that is to come back to the main page and then you wanna right click on the picture of the axis and then go to copy image address. Then when you come back into this picture, you can go into embed link, paste that link and then the image of the axis will pop up. So there you have it. We have our first axis information imported in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple more of these, but to save you the trouble of watching me do all these, I'm gonna put it on the time lapse.
And now you see I have six different axes in here with all different names, numbers, types, free count, and um, buy prices as I have to buy some of these. And this is useful when I have to go back and kind of check on which axes I have if they're not all in the same account. The next table we have is the Axie accounts. And this table helps me track all the different Ronin accounts that I assigned to the scholars and also their associated login information. So going through here, we have the name, which I'm just going to put scholar one. Ronin address, I'm going to make one up. Ronin, just a bunch of random letters and numbers. Email address. So this is the email address of the account you're setting up and not the scholars address and then a password that you would randomly assign. So these are the axes that are going to be in this account. And if I click on this column here, you'll see that it populates with choices all from the axie inventory that we just input. And so this is really useful because now I don't have to put all this information again. I can just choose it from this list. So let's say in this account, I have PZ1, the plant. I have BS03, the beast, and then I'll give a bird, BSK1. So now I know that there's a plant, beast, and bird, and what the number of these axes are, and then what their corresponding names are in this account. So now I'm going to set up a second scholar account, very similar to the first one. And this is just so I can show you some other things that Notion can do down the line. We're leaving the scholars column blank because it'll get filled out once we fill out the scholar table next. So the scholars table is information about the actual scholars in your program and which will be using your accounts and axes. So the following information is ones that I keep. So name, use a really generic John Doe. We'll have the scholar start the day of this recording, September 18th, 2021. Scholar email is the email of the scholar and we use this to send communication back and forth is where I send their login information to. Next is Discord, which is what we use in Swordfish Guild to communicate to our scholars and run community events. So we like to have the Discord name. And next is the Scholar Ronin. So this is where all the payouts will go to and very important to have. And the last one is the account, which we just set up is the Axie account. So here we have the Scholar 1 account, Scholar 2 account. If we click Scholar 1, this links up with the Scholar 1. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the power of Notion and how, how everything comes together with the three relational databases. So let's say my scholar John Doe had a question about the Axie he has and maybe he wants to upgrade it or just wants to know how to play it better. So if I forget which account he's using because I have, let's say, 50 scholar accounts, I can come into scholar, find John by either his name or his discord and then go all the way to the end to find which account he's using. So in here, I know he's using the Scholar 1 account. And instead of just clicking through to this account and look up that database, I can click on this. It'll bring up the account information. And if I click on Scholar 1, then this page pops up with all the information in the Scholar 1 account. So I can have the Ronin address for that account. I know that he has these axes. I know the email to it and the password. And then again, it relates back to the scholar. So I can double check that John is using this. So for John's question, I know that, okay, he has PZ1, BS03, and BSK1. So if I'm concerned about his plant, I can go into PZ1, click on that, know that it's a plant with this number, copy this, come into Axie Infinity, paste that ID number in, and take a scroll through and see, okay, is the plant the problem or is it the other two axes? So that was just one example of how to use these different databases to kind of track everything. I hope you kind of start to see the possibilities there and how it's useful, especially when you get to a large number of axes and a large number of scholars and scholar accounts. Another tip I like to have is that to save time, I'll set up accounts ahead of time. So then I would have all my Ronin accounts set up and then I would just put the information here. So even before I have the scholar, I would have maybe scholar three. Scholar 4. You have the Ronin addresses from the account that I already created in here and then already link them up to an email and a password and just have it sitting and waiting. And when the time comes and I have the axes bred, then I would fill in this slot and then put in the scholar's name when I recruit and onboard these scholars. You're already doing the legwork ahead of time and it saves you time when you're actually onboarding. All right, one more thing before we go, and this is a little more advanced, is to go through these views and kind of set up the filters. So if we go into Axie Inventory and we're under Current Axes, 
these should no longer be under current because they're with their scholar account. So they're no longer with their main account. So these should be empty. And the reason for that is we're missing a filter. So we have filter when sell price is empty. That makes sense because if it's sold, there's a sell price that should no longer be with you. So it's not current. But we have to add another filter here. And that's when Axia using account is empty. It makes sense that nothing is here now because all your axes have been associated with an account. So don't worry, your axe information that you put in is not missing. It's just not in this current view. If you go into all axes, you'll see that everything that you entered pops up again and you have all the information that you had before, including the number, type, recount, count, etc. If you go into scholar axes, everything should be there, but that's just coincidence because everything is associated with a scholar. We actually need to set a filter here, add the filter that account using Axie is not empty. It means that Axie is in an account and it should be in this table. And sold Axies is zero right now because they haven't sold any. So let's try to change our data so then something does show up in sold Axies. So let's say you needed some cash and you decided to move all the Axies from Scholar1 back into your own account. You can go in here, account using Axie, you can X this out. So Scholar1 has nothing now, they're with you. And let's say you wanted to sell this bird and you sold it for 0.070. So we change that information here. It doesn't affect this because it shows all our axes. But if we go into current axes, we should only have two, the plant and the beast that were released from Scholar1 account and back into our main account. Sold axes should only be one, the bird that we sold for 0.07 ETH. And your Scholar axes are only these three in the Scholar2 account since you transferred the axes from Scholar1 back to your main account and all axes show everything. As you can see, the views are very powerful to sort information, see what you have on hand, see what's with your scholar, see what you sold. The last thing we have is the gallery. Totally optional, but something cool that you can do to kind of have all the pictures with the axie name, the account number, and the type they are to kind of have a graphical view of all your axes in one place because you won't have it when you go to the marketplace because they're all in different order. But it does take some time because as you see from the beginning, you have to find each one and copy the link and put it in there. And when you get to, let's say, reading 30 per round, it does get a little data intensive to put all that information and process that. And that's it for the video. I hope you learned something with Notion and hope you use it to manage your scholarship information better. Please comment below with any other tips or tricks that you use in Notion. I would love to learn more and do things better than I'm currently doing. If you want to learn more about the different tools I use, please check out this video on my top five Axie Infinity tools.